What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be looking at Raekwon Davis. Um, I'm continuing the trend of uh, looking at all of our rookies um, from last year. And this this guy was my favorite of the class last year. Um, even when we drafted him, um, him and Jason Strobridge, who hasn't had much playing time yet, were the ones I thought had the most value. Not necessarily the best players, Raekwon was, but... Um, the best value at where they were drafted. So, um, let's go ahead and get into the. I guess we can look at some um, some numbers first. Uh, so last year, he had 34 total tackles, 13 solo, uh, 21 assists, no sacks. Thought he had a couple. Guess not. Okay. Um, matter of fact. Okay, that's a half. Okay, so he has one half. Gotcha. Okay. Number 98. Also, I love what we're able to do with this guy's versatility, too. Like, we... we because, um... The Vaughn was hurt last year, we really didn't have a nose tackle. Um, so we pretty much just lined him up. Either him or uh, Christian Wilkins, we kind of moved them back and forth. Um, we just moved them all across the defensive line. Even Siler would sometimes uh, line up there. Uh, Benito Jones played there a couple times. and It, 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 it was kind of interesting to watch. So uh, let me go ahead and slow that down. You can see his hands inside, good base. Um, because he's got his hands inside, he's got a good base. This is where he's strong. This is why he's able to extend and push this guy off of him so that when the running back starts to run through this gap he can just disengage quickly and make the tackle um i think that's in here yeah so he's got the left hand inside the right hand over the shoulder and he's just gonna use that to pull and push until he's down uh, well actually he was really just pulling cloth with the other hand really and pushing down with the other fantastic still at nose this is it's the majority of where he played last year He's like a athletic nose tackle. That's how we used him. Nice little stunt between him and Christian Wilkins here. Um, hands are a little high here, but I, I'm, I ain't complaining about that at all. Uh, he's planning on going this way anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. He just needs to hold this dude up until Christian Wilkins can get over there. Then he's just running free. That's good play design. Executed well too, of course, but right here still. Hands inside. This is what I love too. This is what I talk about with nose tackles a lot. Um, this is control. So he's got his hands inside. He's got his base set. Uh, he's pretty much got this center. He's He's got him in a situation where he can shed him whenever he wants to. Uh, he could disengage with the guy right now, but instead he's staying patient. He's controlling him, and he's keeping his eyes in the backfield to read where this running back's going to go because um, that's going to dictate where he needs to shed the block toward. Um, if you know he decides to follow uh, 76 here up, up, uh, up this gap, then he needs to disengage and throw him left and he goes right but if he comes but if he cuts back and goes through here then he's got to do what he ends up actually doing um which is leave him to the right and disengage yeah that's what you call control um during draft time when i'm talking about nose tackles that's what i'm looking for when i say 
whether they are or are not good at controlling uh, the center. Because some some nose tackles uh, hold up, they hold space well, and they don't get moved, but they don't necessarily have the most control. Um, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Got his hands inside again. Once again, same thing. He got his hands inside. He's reading the backfield. He knows Cam is a runner. So he's not getting too aggressive. He's not getting um, him. He's not working himself out of the play. Um, so when Cam goes to go through this hole, he's able to get his arms around him. Those are the traits of a great nose tackle. Great feet here. Gets his hands inside and just keeps pushing. Good feet. Right here. More of the same. Hands inside. Keeping his eyes in the backfield. When he knows where he's going, he disengages quickly and goes and makes his tackle. That's one thing about Raekwon, too. Like, his moves aren't flashy by any means. Like, he's not going to be on Sports Center for running somebody the fuck over or um, finessing them like crazy. No, he's going to get his hands inside consistently, and he's going to do his job. He's not going to be flashy doing it, but he's going to be effective. Right here. More of the same. Hands inside, eyes in the backfield. Makes the tackle. This dude was criminally underrated last year. I know that um, Dolphins fans knew how great he was last year, but most of the league didn't. Not only do people not pay attention to the Dolphins, but they also don't pay attention to nose tackles. Oh, that's, that, that's such a good look right there. You can really see it here. Watch this. Watch him bench press this dude. He gets his hands inside and then, and then watch the extension. At this point, he's got this man dead to rights. He can shed him either way that he needs to, depending on where he goes. But this is really his only option. He knows that. Uh, nice, strong base. Uh, fantastic technique. And it's so consistent. That's the thing. And he's not going to make all the tackles in the world because he is a nose tackle. For the most part, he's just there to eat up blocks and make sure the A-gap isn't a destination where people want to run. Um, but he's still fantastic. Mm. Is that a... No, it's not Billy Price. He just he just bullied him there. Ooh. He caught this man lunging, so he did did a little swim move, put him on his face. That's what I talk about when I when I mention players lunging. You lunge, that's what's gonna happen to you. Now, it looks like he jumped off sides, but maybe not. Right 
Fantastic. Uses. Gets his hands inside. Eventually ends up just extending with the right hand to maximize his distance. Um, right now, the most viable option for the running back is to the outside. So he quickly cuts that off to force him to cut back inside where his help is. That's good football IQ right there. Just recognizing where you're at on the field and making the right play. Feet and hands. Hands inside, swipe the wrist. Easy. Right here. Hmm. He's just he's just money with it. Like you know he's going to be consistent, and that is huge in the NFL. To be able to, to depend on him doing shit like this. And he's only going to get stronger. Hands inside, bang. That's why I always talk about if you, if you can get your technique good to go, we'll, we'll, we'll watch a little longer. Uh, if you can get your technique good to go, everything else just falls into place, man. Just more of the same. Controls the center, gets his hands inside, good base, keeps his eyes moving. Disengages when he needs to. Okay, my shit broke. My bad, I couldn't fast forward for a second. Damn. It's stuffed. Hands inside, disengage. You get it, man. I mean, <laughs> it's just consistent. There's not much to really figure out with Raekwon Davis. And that's the thing, too. Um, because he doesn't rely on a bunch of tricks and shit, it's kind of hard to stop. When, when you win just because your technique is fantastic, it's pretty hard to match up against, especially if you are also strong, do have some athleticism, He's a fantastic prospect, and he's only going to get stronger and even better with his technique as time goes on. So, Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So pretty much every YouTuber on this platform is pretty much doing ads like this. YouTube, YouTube's ad revenue is broken. It doesn't really pay well anymore so we have to look to outside sources to make our income um and if you like what i'm doing and you want to support me i would greatly appreciate you going over to my patreon it doesn't take much just one dollar a month would really help me out quite a bit and c continue to help me be able to put out these videos because i put a lot of time and effort into it especially during draft season watching the film and everything like that uh so i would greatly appreciate you guys going to check out my Patreon. It is Anime Dolphin, no capitalization. The link to it will be in the description of this video and pretty much every video moving forward. Um, so yeah, if you if if you want to help support me, that'd be greatly appreciated. There's multiple different tiers. It's all explained well on my Patreon account. Uh, and if you want to check that out, I would it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.